My friends, it's that time again to win. We've only lost one game this season. I know, disappointing. We could have an undefeated season, but you know what? This team is still mighty impressive. There's no denying it at all. Who's serving this number uh, thing? 15, that's also Leskovac. Leskovac, 5'7", senior, outside hitter. We'll see what happens here. We're just about ready to go. Leskovac ready. And here we go. Hornets, Falcons. Opening serve going to be right there. Great to have you aboard, Time Rune, as your announcer, as always, here on Time Rune Sports. Would you look at that? Austin Town Fitz doing a good job keeping it going. Good job there by Cowan, and now it's going to be Maddie. He floats it over, and Austin Town Fitz keeping it alive for now. That one is going to make it over by Grayson, and now here we go. Joey Shaw floats it over, and it'll sit down. Joey is a senior responsible for that. She is serving. Julia hits it over, and now they'll set it in the air. Here comes the spike, it's blocked, but it dies right in front of us. Jocelyn Jordan, number 19, was responsible for that. Another outside hitter. Number nine, Ella Shelley. Shall we let it go to Grace? It gets it in the air, and now Count Hurts miss. Again, it's going to be Shall we serve? Oh, Shall we gets it off, and it dies right from Julia. Oh, Coach Menger might be a little concerned now. Trailing three to one to the Falcons. Talked with Coach McDermott earlier today about how good Austin Town Fitch is. We played them last year and they gave us a run for our money. And this one's gonna be spiked by Elena and a point finally to the Hornets. Marty Pearsall checking in. Senior Grace Smith serving. It is a chilly Saturday outside, but in here it's pretty good. Better than outside, to be honest. Grace lets it go. And here comes the setup here, and Jocelyn Jordan. That one made it in. We're tied. Three apiece. Grace does it again. Good hit right there. And this one's gonna make it over. Julia. Now Megan, and that one is spiked to the net. Morgan Pierce, so a nice effort, but couldn't get the job done. Aaron Burke is ready to serve. Aaron Burke lets it go. And here comes Megan Miller hitting that one. That was tipped. It's inbounds. Tie for a piece. Maddie did that one. As Simone and Catherine check in on this. Saturday morning game. Three good cat, three cat, the Toko serve it right now. There it goes, makes it over. Good job there by Shelly. That one gonna be a diving effort by Grace, but cannot be done. Jocelyn Jordan. She is a six foot two junior, oh ye gods. That means you have another year of her. That one was a bullet that makes it over and a violation on us. Well, that's exactly not what you want to see, folks. <coughs> Sorry about that. Jordan ready to serve it. Jordan with another bullet to Elena this time. From downtown, that's Julia Shaw. It goes right to Shelley. And here comes the spike. It's going to be tipped down. Point goes to the Falcons. There's also number seven, Afton Roby. She's a 5'11 sophomore right there.
Level four, good job there by Grace. He gets over to Catherine. Here comes a spike by Elena. And the point goes to the good guy. Well, don't get so hyped up yet, folks. As Elena ready to serve this. We'll see what she can do here. Makes it over. That was Charlie on that. Is this one going to be blocked? And they'll hit it over, and it's inbound. Well, despite her struggles today, it's worth noting that the Highland Hornets this year became the first team ever to sweep the conference. And by sweep, I mean total domination, 14-0 against Aurora, Barberton, Copley, Cuyahoga Falls, Revere, Roosevelt, and Talmadge, never losing a single game to them. And point goes to the Hornets, Julia Shaw. Jimmy Smith and Connor Rickson. She gets NEC serving. 6 8. They'll make it over. Setting it in the air. Watch out for a spike. It's going to be a good job there by Joy Catherine. Now Simona. Oh no. Again, the Falcons doing a mighty good job. And Coach is going to take a timeout. 